Hey guys, I've been getting a ton of requests to do an EOS lip balm design, but I've been a little bit hesitant because YouTube is literally swarming with these and I wanted to do something that is different from all of those, so I'm very happy to announce that I actually came up with my very own design. Wait for it. It's a bow! So I hope you guys like what I came up with. I have not seen this anywhere and I have done a ton of searching. So I hope that this is the first time you've seen a bow EOS. If not, then oh well because that's what we're making today. Once you've finished watching, if you decide that you enjoy my channel, please click subscribe to become a SoCraftastic family member and also like this video to let me know. Now let's get into the Crafty Friday tutorial. Start off by choosing your favorite EOS flavor. I'm using a brand new one so the shape of the lip balm is fully intact. Then grab a butter knife because we're going to pry apart the container. I also tried a cutter for this part but it broke the tip so be sure to use something sturdy. Okay, so this step was a huge struggle for me, I'm not gonna lie. I've watched a lot of EOS tutorials and I've never seen anyone struggle this hard. So I don't know if they cut out those parts or they're just totally beast at splitting EOS containers. Either way, just be really, really careful because the first time I tried this, I cut my thumb. Just a little bit, I'm okay. Finally, I was able to pop out the piece and it's time to carve a bow or whatever shape you want. Use a clean sewing needle. I washed mine with soap and water, but you could also disinfect it with the candle flame if you want. Begin to carve the outline of the shape you choose. Really, really take your time when you're doing this and don't try to cut out shapes that are too thin because the lip balm can break. Define and go over the outlines a few times. Dig as deep as possible so the next step is a lot easier. Cut the balm at the bottom as close to the plastic as you can. Set that main part aside and clean the rest of the balm off of the grate. Put this excess balm in a heat safe bowl and set it aside. Now remove the cutout from the balm. Place that in the bowl as well. Carve the shape all the way through. It's okay if the bottom isn't perfect, the top is what really counts and that's what you'll see at the end. Put that face down into the top half of the EOS container. Now place some of the balm into a second bowl. The EOS on its own isn't enough, so I'm adding beeswax and shea butter to stretch the mixture. Go ahead and add the pigment of your choice for color. I'm using Crayola crayons, which are actually safe, they're non-toxic, and if you think about it, they have way less chemicals than actual makeup. But anyway, if you don't feel comfortable using that, you could use other lip balm or eyeshadow. Fill a pan with about an inch of water and turn on the burner to medium heat. Let your mixture melt completely. Test a little bit on a plate to make sure it's smooth enough. If it's not, you can add more shea butter or any other ingredient to make the consistency the way you want it. Spoon the mixture to fill the cutout and pop it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Now remove the balm by tapping that piece on the counter. Fill in any imperfections with a toothpick and your melted mixture. Then make outlines all around the entire bow shape with a needle. Here I'm spooning on some black lip balm mixture and smoothing it into the cracks. It's going to look like your shape is messed up, but once you carefully wipe the excess away, it will reveal your new design and it should look pretty cool. Put the balm back in the container and spoon in the plain melted EOS.
Screw on the grate and fill until it is completely covered, then pop it back in the freezer for about another 10 minutes. Now snap the other half of the container in place and it's ready to use. Well, unless you want to add a finishing touch, polka dots. Now it's complete, yay! If you decide to make a bow EOS, please show me a photo of your design on Instagram or Crafty Amino by using hashtag SoCraftastic. Can't wait to see your guys' creations. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you think the bow is super cute. I know you can't see it right now. Also on the subject of bows, I really, really, really like, I really, really, really want to say it's like, ah. I really like the bow, uh, picture thing, de room decor from the challenge that I did a couple weeks ago. If you don't, that's okay, but we can learn to be constructive and nice on this channel, pretty please. I actually spent a lot of time on that challenge, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So, no need for the hate, let's love. I do want to say a few things about this lip gloss. I think it's super pretty, but I also think that the decorated EOS lip balms are quite impractical to be honest. Um, that doesn't mean that I don't like it and I don't think they're super creative. It just means that this is so pretty I'm not going to use it. And it took me probably three hours to make which is ridiculous. So I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a disclaimer. As you could tell it took me forever forever to get the grate apart from the container and now there's weird knife spots on the containers. I might just be really, really bad at doing that kind of stuff, you know, because I'm weak, but the containers do not look as pretty as they used to on the outside, and I don't know if they're closed completely now because of that either. This one, which actually, this is coconut butter, I think, which smells super good, and I didn't even know this existed. And I do also really like to point out all the fails and struggles I have in my videos. I hope that it's helpful for you guys. This is the first one that I tried. This is the one that I cut my thumb on, and it's only a tiny cut. You can probably see it in the um, tutorial footage a little bit if you look closely. It's healed a lot, and I'm sorry if the little cut picture kind of freaked and grossed some of you out, but if you've seen Threadbanger, shout out, then you probably are used to that kind of stuff, even though this one's real. I do like to tell you guys everything that goes wrong, and that is just because I am so transparent and honest about the difficulty of projects, and I don't want anything to be to come across as easy peasy lemon squeezy in my videos when it's actually in reality really difficult or something that's not going to last. So maybe it's because I put this in the freezer and didn't let it kind of warm up enough before adding more lip balm, but this one's cracking and you can't tell from this footage, but it's actually like about to split apart from the base part of the lip balm, so I don't know if it's my fault or if it happens to a lot of people. All that being said, I might do like one more easy EOS tutorial that doesn't involve all this carving and stuff because I want you guys to have tutorials that are actually meaningful and useful. That's why I created the bow room decor that a lot of people were like, oh, that's not creative, because I'm not actually going to be a user of this stuff. Well, maybe the one that I messed up on, and I'm probably not gonna do a lot of these even though they're popular, so just letting you know. But that's enough blabbing. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know I already said that, I think. <sighs> So much talking. I'm so sorry. I can't stop. Don't forget to check out all of my links in the description box below to Crafty Amino, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and my Facebook fan page. You guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you here next week for another Crafty Friday tutorial. Bye! I'm seeing a cat right now. And I'm doggy paddling. I felt like I was playing softball. The fun fact, I actually played softball from 5th grade through 8th grade. And I was usually second base or shortstop. I am terrible, terrible, terrible at throwing. I've been told that I'm a sidearm Sally and I have absolutely no power in my throw. But I'm pretty good, or I was pretty good at, um, I'm bad at batting too, but I'm pretty good at throwing, or catching. Catching. We just got done saying how bad I am at throwing. I was pretty good at catching and I was good at bunting and running. So that's softball in a nutshell. I lost my train of thought. It was a very short train.